Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. So who's watching Netflix and what are you watching? I just watched two great Netflix docs. I watched The Monster, the story about Eric and Lyle Menendez. That's highly recommended. I mean, it's a little bit tough because it's a tough subject of then is kind of gross in terms of the topics, but it's really well done. There's a very specific scene where Eric, the younger one, he's having a dialogue with his lawyer and talking about his abuse and revealing the abuse that he suffered under the hands of his father. It is so well done because it's just dialogue. There's no visual, there's nothing. It's so candid. It feels like you, you were actually listening to Eric Menendez having this discussion with his lawyer. Well done. If you're into those kind of shows, it's it's well done. Javier Bardem is good. And Chloe Sevigny, excellent. Really great cast of characters, well acted and good. But flipping from the dark side of murder and abuse and all of that yucky icky stuff. There is the other side of Netflix, which I totally enjoy. And it's about well taken care of women, rich women, women who live well, luxuriously, glamorous, and have no worries apparently in the world, except what handbag they're going to buy or where they're going to take their family on vacation. And if you're interested in that type of show, you're going to want to see I Am Georgina, which is currently streaming on Netflix. Hey guys. Darlings, I'm back on Netflix. La vida. Every day, I thank God for everything I have in life. I'm not going to do a deep dive into I Am Georgina. It's not the most exciting show. It's literally eye candy. But I thought, okay, maybe people know her, maybe they don't. But what would you want to know about her? Who is this woman? Let's get seven facts about Georgina Rodriguez. That will sum it up. And if you want to go see it, it's worth seeing it for a few reasons. But let's talk about Georgina and who she is. So Georgina Rodriguez is the girlfriend of Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the best soccer players in the entire world. I think he has the most Instagram followers ever. I don't know the number, but it's very high and is dating Georgina Rodriguez. Cristiano and Georgina have recently moved to Saudi Arabia. In this third season of her show, it's about their life in Saudi Arabia, which is great because I've never seen Saudi Arabia. And I think this is probably the first time on camera where there's scenes around it. And it shows that it's a really beautiful country. They live in a beautiful house. They go out to the Red Sea, which is incredible and beautiful. And then there's some desert that they also go out to film. And that also is extremely breathtaking. So... It gives a different perception of Saudi Arabia because, you know, we have no idea of what it's like in Saudi Arabia. All we think about is women covered, but it seemed like a really nice, safe place and then some natural, beautiful spots. So seven things you did not know about Georgina Rodriguez. Here goes. And hopefully this inspires you to go and watch their show. First of all, they're not married. They have five children together. Three of them are his children. He had children with surrogate mothers, which, okay, that's different. But clearly family is really important to him. So he wanted to start having a family, even though he didn't have a woman that he was interested in making the mother of his children until he met Georgina. You need a wife and your children need a mother. He and Georgina met in 2016 at a Gucci store. She was a sales girl at the Gucci store. He went in there with his son and they happened to start talking and they had just made an immediate con connection. By 2017, she was pregnant with their first child. They had a baby girl. But that same year they met, he had twin babies that he had just had with his surrogate mother. 
He also had a son, Junior, that he had again with another surrogate mother. So he was at a point in his life where he was probably looking for mother for his children, and Georgina fit the bill. So she is under 30, she just turned 30, and she has five children. And what I find remarkable about that is most 30-year-olds that I know are still living at home with their parents, whereas this woman seems to be really established in her life. Like she already has her children. She already has a man. She is creating a family and that's quite impressive. So she shows you her lifestyle in this docu-series. I think that's what Netflix calls their reality TV. Her boyfriend refers to her as his wife, yet they are not married. And also what I learned is that Saudi Arabia is trying to attract more foreign investment and to introduce reforms into their culture. Ordinarily, you are not allowed to be unmarried and live together in Saudi Arabia. But part of this 2030 reform, people who are not Muslims, foreigners, can live together unwed. So Cristiano Ronaldo, when he was offered this position to play for Al Nazir, uh, they have a special compensation to be able to live as an unwedded couple, and they live as an unwedded couple in Riyadh, the capital city. Number three, before we move on to number three, he referred to her in public as his wife, even though she's not, and maybe because they were in Saudi Arabia, but also she refers to him as her boyfriend. That's at least what she did at the Netflix show. She budgets and manages her finances. So in the show, she says that she always keeps a book where she writes down her expenses. It seems that she pays attention to her spending. That's really good because, you know, being a woman who pays attention to her finances, especially when she's been taken care of by her boyfriend for the most part. It's important that she knows how to manage money and that she is paying attention to money because I've seen a lot of women in similar positions where they are well taken care of and then something happens to the partner and then they have no idea how to take care of themselves, find themselves 20, 30 years later accustomed to a beautiful lifestyle that they don't know how to provide for themselves. So I think Georgina having an eye on her money is a really good lesson or advice for women who are in her situation. Pay attention to your money. Pay attention to how you save. I think it's a good advice for anyone, even myself, who has no man taking care of them. But just to better take care of yourself, figure out your money. She invests in real estate. She purchased her for herself a beach home in, in, in Portugal. She said that has been always one of her dreams, and she did do that. Um, she also has her own career, and you'll see in the docuseries, he is never around. Even for her 30th birthday, she turned 30 and she has always had a dream of going to Maldives and she went to Maldives and he didn't come. It was her children, her five children. I think, no, the baby didn't come. And for some reason, they don't show the nannies. And I don't know if they're trying to make you believe that these women actually take care of the children or they're just trying to protect the identity of the nanny, but obviously she does not take care of her children. Um, she went to Maldives for her birthday and Cristiano didn't come. He seems to be a very busy person, always, you know, he's not there a lot. She does a lot alone with her children or with her her friends, her agent, her manager, her makeup artist, her glam team, those are her friends. It reminds me of Erica Jane. Remember how Erica Jane was married to Tom Giraldi and they were never really together. I get that same vibe, except I do see when Cristiano and her are together, there's actual physical attraction and you can see that they are into each other. Whereas you really didn't see that from Erica and Tom. For those of you who 
watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, which again is another show of well taking care of women. That seems to be the theme here of entertainment that I love, well taking care of, of women. I wonder why. Is it maybe because I'm living vicariously through these women who are just indulged and treated to the best of shopping, the best of lives with everything that they want. But I tell you, there's always a price to pay. It looks glamorous for somebody looking in. You know, you're looking in and you're seeing this life and you're like, oh my God, whatever. But you can tell there's sacrifices that she has to make. Like I said, he didn't even show up to her birthday party. He wasn't available to her. He's not always there. But what is she doing? She's not sitting around. She's actually creating a career for herself. And here we are, season three of I Am Georgina, and she seems to be having more and more success with her modeling career and getting into acting. Take notes, ladies. For those of you looking for that type of lifestyle, take notes to how Georgina is navigating dating and being the woman of a high-profile man. Fact number five, she is a Catholic. She prays the rosary and she loves to have religious statues in her home. So for her birthday, she got a rosary from one of her friends. She got a statue of Mary and she keeps that in her living room. And her spirituality comes up in the show. I would imagine that she is spiritual. If I was in her position, I would pray, you know, see that how my life goes from basically rags to riches. I would say there was a divine intervention for me to have such a beautiful, beautiful, and I'm talking about beauty in terms of luxury and access and beautiful house and beautiful cars and beautiful jewelry. Just everything around her is super beautiful. Obviously, she has her challenges. She did lose one of her children in childbirth. That's hard. That's a hard tip that she had to deal with and a pain that she has to carry. But other than that, she looks like she lives the charmed life. Number six, she has her own career and finances despite being the girlfriend of a wealthy man. So that is a plus. Ladies, take notes. Even if you have a wealthy boyfriend and you want it to be a long-term thing, don't forget about your own bank account. Don't forget about creating a life or a career for yourself. Don't be in a relationship where you're not allowed to formulate a career and you're stifled and you're just there to be at the beck and call. We know how dangerous that can be. If you haven't been living under a rock and have been following the news and the Diddy case, you see that he was a man who kept women and the way he treated the women he kept was uh, horrendous. Yes, he did provide them money and beautiful homes and children, but he was abusive, demoralizing, and just a horrible person. So you don't want to be in a situation where you are taken care of by a man, but there are conditions that cause for you to be abused. So I'm not talking about that, but there are women who are well taken care of and loved. And Georgina seems to be on that list. Number seven, she enjoys eating. She loves ham, as she says, and candy. You can tell from her figure that she's not into dieting. She is a full figure girl. I believe Cristiano dated Irena Shrek, some high fashion supermodel. And, um, you know, she's very different for, from Georgina. Georgina seems more simple. And I can't imagine that Cristiano Ronaldo is a complicated man. I mean, he plays football for a living and football is his entire life. He spends, I don't know how many countless hours exercising and working at his body. That's his focus, right? So he's a very simple man and I can imagine Georgina just meets all his needs. Um, fact number eight, she doesn't speak English. I'm sorry, I don't speak English. I am sorry, I don't speak English. I am sorry, I don't speak English. Very good. So guys, that's it. I suggest, recommend you go watch it. It's not very exciting. It's kind of boring. You can have it as background, but you're going to have great visuals. You're going to see amazing jewelry, luxury handbags, luxury 
private planes, luxury homes, some celebrity sightings. My favorite part was access to Saudi Arabia, the Red Sea, where they went on vacation. They went to Maldives, beautiful places. They went to Madrid, Paris, and these glamorous cities, Portugal. And I think just being able to see the Red Sea and this desert, the quiet desert, I forget the name, but I'll put it up on the screen in Saudi Arabia to see how beautiful it is to live in that part of the world. Um, I think it was worth that. So go check out I Am Georgina. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subs subscribe to the channel if you're into content like this. All right. Take care. Bye.